the revolution that could finally put an end to lithium's reign may be about to emerge from behind the scenes at Tesla. Despite the near-absolute dominance that lithium-ion batteries still hold in the world of electric vehicles, present in about 95% of models sold globally, the signs of technology saturation are no longer going unnoticed. Prices have soared, fire risks persist, and technological advancement appears to have stalled. Amid this stagnation, the promise of a new alternative will begin to take shape, the aluminum ion battery. Much more abundant, potentially safer, and with superior energy density, this new type of cell could represent a historic turning point in the development of electric vehicles. Although still shrouded in secrecy, Tesla's aluminum ion battery is already attracting attention due to rumors about its impressive performance. The promise is clear, to deliver up to three times the energy density of a standard lithium ion cell at a lower cost. This technology is still in the testing and adjustment phase, but everything indicates that Elon Musk and his team are already planning to take concrete steps toward completely replacing lithium. The intention will be to create something more than a simple improvement. The goal will be to usher in a new paradigm, a game changer that will make current models obsolete in a short time. If Tesla truly decides to go all in on this new technology, the impact will be profound and immediate. After all, dependence on lithium has always been a critical issue, particularly due to the geographic concentration of reserves and price fluctuations that will undermine production predictability. By opting for aluminum, the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust, the company will be able to escape a system that currently limits it. This alone will place the automaker in a unique strategic position. And, as always, it won't do so quietly. Even though there's no set date yet for implementing this battery in commercial models, the path is being rapidly mapped out behind the scenes. The most intriguing thing about all this will be realizing how a seemingly simple technology could reshape an entire industry. Aluminum has always been present in structural components, but its application as a key player in energy storage will still seem like a futuristic idea to most. Tesla, however, is expected to begin changing this perception, and it will do so in its own way. Without loud announcements at first, only with subtle movements coming from its labs and engineers. But for those who follow the brand closely, it will be clear that something big is about to happen. The decision to migrate to aluminum ion batteries is also likely linked to Tesla's more ambitious plan to truly popularize electric vehicles. Currently, battery prices represent a huge portion of the total cost of each car, preventing many consumers from realizing their dream of owning an EV in their garage. By drastically cutting costs with a new, more affordable chemistry, the automaker could finally make the much-talked-about $25,000 model viable. And it's no exaggeration to say this could be the true people's car of the electric era. Another reason for this change of direction will come from the need for real innovation. In recent years, the battery industry has stagnated. Incremental improvements in energy density or charging speed will no longer be enough to excite consumers. The market will begin to demand quantum leaps, and Tesla, as always, will want to be at the forefront. Aluminum ion batteries will be presented as a response to this demand for something truly new, something game-changing. Even though the technical details are not yet publicly available, internal movement within the company will indicate that the plans are serious. If rumors about the energy density of these batteries are confirmed, the electric vehicle market could be completely reconfigured. The promise revolves around a capacity of up to 700 dodrodwidwai, an almost unbelievable number compared to the modest 180 to 250 dodrodwidwai of lithium-ion batteries used today. In other words, with the same amount of material, it will be possible to store up to three times more energy. This could mean that a Tesla electric car equipped with this new battery could travel distances of 700 to 1,000 miles 
without needing to recharge, something unthinkable by today's standards. And for those who suffer from so-called range anxiety, this will be the definitive answer. The idea of a Model 3 with nearly triple the current range won't just be a futuristic fantasy. With this new battery, the model, which currently has a range of around 560 kilometers, 350 miles, will easily surpass 11200 kilometers, 750 miles on a single charge. Even if some energy density is lost at the pack level due to the housing, cooling system, and other components, the numbers will still remain impressive. The possibility of driving from Sao Paulo to Rio Grande do Sul without stopping to recharge will start to seem more like a reality than a dream. This will directly impact consumers' minds. Autonomy, in fact, has always been the Achilles heel of electric cars. Despite all the talk about sustainability and fuel economy, many drivers still hesitate for fear of staying on the road, especially in regions where charging stations are scarce. The aluminum ion battery could completely change this perception, bringing a new level of confidence. And most interestingly, this evolution won't depend on major overhauls to the car's structure. The change will come at the heart of the system, the battery, and that will be enough to transform everything. And it won't just be range that will attract attention. With more energy stored per kilogram, Tesla engineers will be able to reduce the size of the pack without sacrificing performance. This will allow for lighter cars with greater efficiency and optimized interior space. Range will increase, energy consumption per kilometer will decrease, and performance could improve. All this simply by changing the battery chemistry. From the outside, you might not even notice, but inside, the transformation will be monumental. This new energy density will also open doors to applications beyond cars. Residential storage, trucks, even electric planes, sectors that previously seemed unattainable due to the limitations of lithium batteries, will begin to become viable. With more energy in less space, new possibilities will emerge. It's as if Tesla is laying a solid energy foundation not only for its vehicles, but for an entire electric ecosystem and everything indicates that aluminum will be key to this expansion. Interestingly, Tesla won't need to reinvent the car to take advantage of this technology. It will simply need to adapt existing models, such as the Model Y or Model 3, to accommodate the new modules. This will make the transition faster and cheaper, unlike other technological revolutions that require new designs from scratch. The company will know how to exploit this advantage like no other, transforming a simple battery swap into a new generation of vehicles. The marketing will be subtle, but the impact will be resounding. With more energy per kilogram and less space required to store it, Tesla will be able to exploit another benefit that has been hampered by the cost of batteries for years. Accessibility. And this is where aluminum will begin to show its true power. Lithium, besides being expensive, is geographically limited. Aluminum, on the other hand, is ubiquitous. It's the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust, accounting for over 8% of its composition. This means Tesla will no longer be dependent on a handful of countries to maintain its production. And let's face it, for a company that wants to lead the electric world, this will be liberating. The abundance of aluminum will also enable something that until now seemed unfeasible. A long-range electric car priced like a budget car. If current calculations hold, the cost of an aluminum battery could range between $40 and $65 per kilodur, compared to $80 to $145 for lithium batteries. This difference, when multiplied by the average capacity of a pack, between 60 and 80 kilobars represents thousands of dollars in savings per unit. In simple terms, a Model Y that currently costs around $10,000 with a pack could see its cost reduced by more than half. And these savings could be passed directly to the consumer. The idea of the famous $25,000 Tesla, which Elon Musk promised years ago and still hasn't delivered, 
will gain traction again with this new technology. It won't just be a marketing ploy. This time, there will be a concrete technical basis to make this model viable. The reduction in production costs will open a real opportunity for the popularization of electric cars. And the most interesting thing? All this will happen without compromising range, safety, or performance. Consumers won't be getting a cheaper product, but rather a smarter vehicle with a more advanced battery and much more economically viable. Another detail that shouldn't be ignored is the impact of this cost reduction on emerging markets. Countries like Brazil, India, and several African nations have always been overlooked when it comes to electric cars, precisely because of their high price. But if Tesla truly manages to cut battery costs by almost half, and without relying on scarce materials or specific countries, then we could be about to witness a true democratization of electric mobility. And that, for the future of the planet, is no small feat. It's worth remembering that the final price of an electric vehicle isn't just its sales label. It also carries the cost of raw materials, extraction, logistics, and geopolitical risks. And with lithium, all of these factors have become a global chess game. With aluminum, the situation changes completely. Because it's extracted from bauxite, a mineral widely distributed around the world, the risks of dependence or trade sanctions virtually disappear. For Tesla, this will represent a massive strategic advantage over its competitors. While competitors are still trying to improve recharge times with lithium batteries, Tesla may be one step closer to solving this issue definitively. The new aluminum ion battery promises something that, until recently, seemed far from reality. A full recharge in just 15 minutes. This isn't an optimistic guess, but a direct consequence of the nature of aluminum ions, which move three times faster than lithium ions within the electrolyte. In practice, this means less waiting, fewer lines, and an experience much more similar to filling up a gasoline car, something the average consumer has always wanted in an electric car. This leap in charging speed could eliminate one of the biggest bottlenecks in electric mobility. Today, even the best fast charging systems require 25 to 35 minutes to reach 80% charge. And even then, this is only possible under ideal conditions and with very high power stations. Aluminum batteries, on the other hand, will be able to reach 100% charge in less time, with less thermal stress and less risk of system damage. For those who drive daily and depend on their car for everything, this will make a huge difference. The idea of having to plan long stops for recharging will start to become outdated. Another interesting point is that this new technology will not only allow for faster charging, but also safer charging. Thermal control of aluminum batteries will be much more efficient, drastically reducing the risk of overheating, a common problem with lithium batteries, especially in very hot or cold environments. Anyone who's seen videos of EVs catching fire after collisions or system failures knows what we're talking about. With the new chemistry, thermal stability will be a powerful ally and this will directly impact consumer-perceived reliability. Vehicle cooling systems can also be simplified, as aluminum batteries will withstand temperature variations much more easily. This will not only lower production costs, but also reduce the car's overall weight. Fewer components, less complexity, more efficiency, all aligned with Tesla's philosophy of doing more with less. The advantage is clear, a battery that charges in 15 minutes doesn't heat up, lasts longer, and costs less. The combination will be irresistible to the market. And if fast charging is already a leap forward, imagine that combined with durability. Unlike lithium, which suffers progressive degradation with each recharge cycle, aluminum will demonstrate far greater resistance. This means that even after thousands of high-speed recharges, the battery will maintain its efficiency and safety. For commercial fleets, ride-hailing drivers, and long-distance commuters, 
this will be a game changer. The car will cease to be a risky investment and become a durable and predictable asset. And that's precisely where the aluminum ion battery will surprise even more, with its impressive durability. If tests continue to yield current results, these batteries could reach up to 15,000 recharge cycles, something that would simply put lithium cells to shame. For comparison, a standard lithium battery begins to lose capacity significantly after 2,000 cycles, which equates to about three to five years of daily use. With Tesla's new batteries, this period could extend to three full decades. Yes, 30 years with practically the same battery life as on day one. This longevity will pave the way for a complete shift in how consumers view their electric cars. Instead of thinking about replacing them every five or six years, as is the case today, people will be able to keep their vehicles for decades without worrying about severe battery degradation. This will be revolutionary, especially for fleet companies and high-volume drivers, such as ride-hailing companies. The cost-benefit ratio will soar to unprecedented levels, and the initial investment, however large, will be worth much more in the long run. But what enables this incredible leap in durability? Part of the answer lies in the nature of aluminum itself. Unlike lithium, which reacts unstable to oxygen and water, aluminum forms a natural oxide layer that protects its core. This layer acts as a kind of anti-corrosion shield, preventing the material from degrading over time. Furthermore, the structure of aluminum ion release during recharging is much more stable, which prevents a feared phenomenon in current batteries. Dendrite formation. Dendrites are metallic crystals that form inside cells during recharging and, over time, pierce the battery separator, causing short circuits, loss of capacity, and even explosions. With aluminum ion batteries, this problem is virtually eliminated. Discharge stability and more efficient thermal control will prevent the formation of these harmful crystals. This will directly contribute to the safety and lifespan of the cell, making it not only longer lasting, but also more reliable throughout all phases of its life cycle. Independent research, such as that conducted by universities like Stanford, has already shown that aluminum batteries can withstand tens of thousands of cycles without significant loss of performance. This will be a game changer not only in the automotive sector, but in any application that relies on long-term energy storage, such as residential and commercial systems, and even satellites and spacecraft. Tesla, as always, could be the first to look beyond immediate use, envisioning an entire energy ecosystem based on this new durability. If safety was already a hot topic in electric car debates with the aluminum ion battery, that conversation will take a whole new direction. Consumers' main concern has always revolved around accidents involving lithium batteries, which can, indeed, catch fire or even explode when subjected to impacts, short circuits, or thermal failures. And this is no exaggeration. Images of burning vehicles have circulated widely in recent years, fueling many people's distrust of EVs. But with aluminum at the core of the technology, Tesla will be able to almost completely eliminate this risk, offering a battery with extremely high thermal and chemical stability. Aluminum, unlike lithium, does not react violently with oxygen or water. This means that even under critical conditions, such as severe collisions or exposure to high temperatures, the chance of spontaneous combustion will be virtually zero. Safety will not only lie in the sensors and monitoring systems, but within the battery structure itself. 